This is VNN Canada and here are today's top stories. Liberals granting more leeway to would-be Venezuela immigrants refugees. Huawei executives defense team alleges Canadians were agents of the FBI. Indian players excited to have numbers on back of test jerseys. Varun and Alia Dhawan collaborate for a charity project. And now, news in detail. The federal liberals are easing immigration and refugee rules for Venezuelan amid their country's deepening political and economic crisis and ahead of a high-level meeting with the U.S. where the subject of democracy in the South American nation is on the agenda. As many as 4 million Venezuelans are believed to have fled in the last four years, a migration of historic proportions in the region that has severely strained neighboring countries, hosting the majority of the displaced. Recently, the United Nations said the growing flight of Venezuelans has now totally surpassed Colombia's capacity to respond and called on countries to step up the amount of aid they are providing to the area. Countries including Canada and the US have been racketing up economic and political pressure on President Nicolas Maduro in a bid to force him aside and allow for a transition of power to the government of Juan Guaido, who is recognized by dozens of countries as Venezuela's rightful leader. A defense team for a Chinese telecom executive is alleging that Canadian officials acted as agents of American law enforcement while she was detained at Vancouver's airport for three hours ahead of her arrest. In court documents released this week, defense lawyers for Huawei Chief Executive Officer Meng Wangzhu point to handwritten notes by Canadian officers indicating Meng's electronics were collected in anticipation of a request from the FBI in the United States. The notes show the RCMP asked the FBI if the U.S. was interested in Meng's language and that a Canadian Border Service Agency officer wrote down Meng's passcodes while others requested her about Huawei's alleged business in Iran. This happened before she was informed of her arrest the defense lawyer said. Information and Cultural Secretary of Pakistan's Punjab province, Raja Jangir, has asked his uh, uh, different cultural departments to give within a week an outline of the preparations for Guru Nanak's 550th birth anniversary celebrations in November, media reports said. According to the Dawn newspaper, the Punjab government is keen on encouraging religious tourism and sees the occasion as a perfect opportunity to attract Sikh pilgrims from India and abroad. At the meeting attended by senior officials of several departments, a suggestion was forwarded to set up a temporary art gallery at Nankana Sahib and Kartarpur, mapping the pictorial journey of all the sacred places of Sikhs in Pakistan. Officials said books written on Sikhism and its sacred places could be displayed in the exhibition. The Indian team will be opening their ICC World Cup Championship campaign when they take the field against the West Indies in Antigua today. The jerseys they will be wearing are slightly different from those that they wore for test matches in the past as they have numbers like the limited overs jerseys. Yesterday, the players posed with their new test jerseys and made their opinion known on the same. If that's what's going to help engage fans with a five-day format, it shouldn't be a hassle for any of us because it is on the back of our shirt. Spinner or Ashwin told BCCI.tv. For me, whatever helps fans engage with the oldest and the best format of the game is fine. The Student of the Year co-stars Varun Dhawan and Alia Bhatt have joined forces this time for charity. Alia has announced the next insult installment of her closest sharing initiative, My Wardrobe is Usu Wardrobe. After actors Anushka Sharma and Sunakshi Sinha, Varun is the third celebrity guest to share his hand-picked favorites from his personal wardrobe for charity. Varun is making his My Sue debut and I am really thankful for his support. We need to start adopting a more conscious approach towards buying and discarding garments. We want to encourage more and more people to consider adding quality pre-owned garments to their wardrobes and to help our environment by reducing waste, Alia said. Proceeds from this wardrobe will support Salam Bombay Foundation, which works with adolescents growing up in urban slums to keep them in schools through multiple programs that impact their education, health, and livelihood. And that's all for today from us. See you tomorrow. Keep watching VNN Canada.